Autumn has well and truly arrived and in this video I'm going to give you 10 photographic ideas that you can try this season. The main asset in the autumn months is of course the autumnal leaves. And in a recent Autumn's Tip video, I spoke to you all about how using side light is a great thing to use to enhance the colours and contrast within a woodland scene. However, when you are within the woods itself and you've got a very dark, dingy atmosphere like I currently do in this location here, using backlight can be a very impressive way to add interest to your photographs especially if you're photographing leaves on their own. That backlight allows for beautiful diffused light to come through the leaves themselves, which gives you an almost transparent feel and allows you to see the veins, the textures and the patterns within the leaves. And it can just bring out a whole new world to be photographed. So if you're in a woodland like this, look at where the light's streaming in through the gaps in the trees Point your camera up to the leaves and see what interesting patterns and textures you can discover. If you've never tried ICM, autumn is the perfect time to give it a go. The colours in the woodland, as well as the other textures, tones and patterns, can make for some incredible creative ideas within your images. Somewhere like this is perfect and by using these lovely trees that are stretching up through the canopy and the lines of the trunks, if you pan your camera up and down, you can pull those trunks, giving you a lovely blurred effect and lines to your images. And it allows you to create something really creative, unique and unusual. And couple that with the autumn colors and you are on to a winner. you can try to really increase your creativity is get yourself a handful of leaves and when the leaves have changed a little bit more to what they have now so you've got the proper orange colours you can get above your camera throw the leaves up and have them falling and take a number of snaps on burst mode and when you do that you can get these really creative images and you get that effect that the leaves are falling from the tree as you're taking the photographs it can take a little bit of practice to do it and today's not the ideal day because the leaves are quite wet and as I say the leaves here haven't quite changed yet but in a week or two when they're their optimum colour and if the leaves are nice and dry you can easily throw them up and they will flutter down really slowly and just gives you something creative and like I say that illusion that the leaves are falling within your images. Getting a change of perspective can bring really interesting images at this time of year too. If you own an ultra wide angle lens, put it on your camera, get as close to the ground as you can and look up at the canopy. What the ultra wide angle lens will do is it will allow the trees to really expand and it will stretch them giving you a really eerie effect as they stretch up like giants up to the canopy. Coupled with the beautiful autumn leaves can make for some really interesting shots and as I say it allows you to get a completely different perspective of this very beautiful time of year. Autumn is not all about the leaves and the beautiful tree canopies. It's also about these guys here, the fungi. Now there are thousands of species of fungi that can be found in our woodlands and grassy areas. And these are incredible to photograph. You can get really creative with them and do things like macro photography to uncover some of their hidden elements within them and the hidden shapes, textures and patterns. You can also use them within your woodland scenes to add interest. You can get down low to the ground, use an LED light to light them up and create really mythical and magical images. But just get out there and find them and see what you can capture. They are so exciting to photograph and you will be blown away with the amount of varieties you can find and capture. Shooting reflections can be exciting at any time of the year. You can get these beautiful mirrored images that can create a lot of interest within your photographs. 
In the autumn though, of course, it is heightened further with the beautiful autumnal colours. So a good recommendation here is to get yourself down to a loch, a lake, a slow moving river, a puddle of water, any type of water that's stagnant enough to allow you that reflection and be able to find some overhanging branches and trees that reflect the beautiful colour and light on the water. Sticking with the water theme, as well as photographing reflections, it's also great to get yourself down to rivers or waterfalls in the autumn months. These generally have a lot of trees growing around them and you can get amazing shots when the trees are in their full colour. And of course, water mixed with trees, use a polarizer and you can bring out that colours and remove the glare on the water to further enhance your photographs. It is a great place to spend as much time as you can at this time of year. water theme you may want to consider doing something a little bit more abstract and if you're finding like I have the last few weeks that autumn is a bit later this year and many of the trees haven't changed colour what you will find is although there might not be a lot of colour in the canopy themselves there can be a lot of colour on the ground from the dead fallen leaves many of these fall into the water itself and you end up getting really lovely golden leaves within pools of water and going down rivers and streams. So if you can get yourself a zoom lens on your camera, zoom into these, you can get some really nice intimate shots of the water swirling around and the beautiful autumnal leaves within them. And it can make for some really interesting photographs. macro photography at any time of year is exciting. In the summer months you've got plenty of flowers and insects to photograph, in the winter you've got all the ice and the frost and the snow, but in the autumn there is so much that can be discovered with a macro lens. It can allow you to see parts of leaves and the shapes and the textures within them that the naked eye struggles to see. You can uncover really interesting textures and patterns within fungi and with there being so many different species you can go away with some incredibly interesting photographs. But you can also photograph many of the bugs that are going around at this time of year, decomposing all of the leaf litter on the floor, as well as the shapes and textures and the bark, and all of the acorns and chestnuts and all that kind of things that are falling off the trees at this time of year. Getting your macro lens out at this time, it can just enhance the experience of autumn. So if you own a macro lens, teleconverters, close-up filters or lenses, get them out and see what you can uncover this year because you may be surprised by the results. Up next we have got abstract photography. Now autumn is the perfect time to undertake abstract photography. There is so much going on with the colours, the leaves, the fungi, there's a lot of water around which can really enhance your chances of getting those abstract images. So abstract is quite a broad term but on the whole it allows you to capture images within the landscape where it's not 100% sure what you've actually photographed. So you can do this in so many different ways using techniques that we've already discussed today such as ICM and macro but you can also do it by using a zoom lens and isolating certain aspects of the landscape so that you can't see your subject within the landscape as a whole but you have managed to focus on a small element of the landscape and created a really detailed, intimate, blurry image where there's a little bit of mystery associated with it. And as I say, with all the water around at this time of year and the colour, abstract photography can be a really exciting thing to undertake. And there we have it. I hope you enjoy getting out this autumn and trying all these ideas. Autumn is two weeks behind this year, so it's hopefully gonna last well into November. So get out there and make the most of the colours while you can and enjoy it. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time. <laughs>